Well, bat down your britches. Today we're talking about washing your behind. This is the Aquaspace uh, electric bidet seat. Now I've done a couple of bidet seat installs before um, and each of them I've thoroughly enjoyed. I still have them. I still use them every single day. It has saved me probably countless dollars in terms of toilet paper use. But today, we're taking a peek at this. This is Aquaspace's electric bidet seat. This is the AS1211. So, I'm looking forward to trying out a different brand, seeing how this one compares, and uh, we're gonna start by this video, doing a full unboxing, seeing exactly how it comes, then we're gonna do an installation. Now, part of the installation, I'm, I'm gonna get into the bathroom where my current bidet seat is, and I'll probably off video, uninstall that real quick um, but we'll do the full install step by step to make sure I show every single step of the way as best I can so without further ado let's get into this guy okay folks welcome back to geek smart and we're gonna start by getting out my best dad ever knife our multi-tool and rip into this bad boy Okay. All right. So it looks like we do have a, uh, a layout guide to show us exactly where the seat should be placed. So we got that along with the instruction manual. Got a box here. Let's see what's in this guy. Looks like we have the remote control that's gonna go on the wall. We also have the components that actually attach to the seat, as well as it looks like one of the valves to get the water diverted from the tank over to the actual mechanism itself to the actual seat. Set that over here. All right, we'll lift this guy out of the box. <clears throat> Making sure, oh, it looks like on the side, on one of the styrofoam we actually have a stainless steel, braided stainless steel hose that is attached to the seat, so we just have to pull that through the styrofoam. Okay, set this box out of the way. <clears throat> Apologize for that. Okay. So, braided stainless steel hose. Does not want to let go of it. Oh, that's because there's a there's something on it. A twisty tie or something. Well, that's just odd. So we're gonna, there we go. Just a metal twisty tie. All right, there we go. That off there. Chuck that down in the box. Now we have the bag for the seat itself. This guy out. Let's take a peek at it. Along with the power cable. Throw that down there. Another twisty tie on that. Okay. The nice thing is, oops, sorry about that. The nice thing is, is that they do give you a a nice uh, protected outlet. So if your bathroom is an older one that doesn't have GFI in the bathroom, at least it is built into the cord itself. Okay. Get the foam off this guy. I'm gonna leave the plastic on it until we get it set into place. Um, but, see here. Does it have this, yep, nice soft closed lid. And then the guts components. Looks like it does hide away nice and down in here. We have the shooter arm that comes out. Looks like it's stainless steel. And then the dryer mechanism here. Obviously the gray piece that's in this bag here is what you mount and then it's this the seat itself slides in. And then do we have release mechanism right there on the side? All right, and then I don't know if that's a sensor maybe over there. And then over on the other side of the seat, looks like we have a uh, wash versus 
butt wash versus feminine wash, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see what that does when we get it on the, the seat working. But you do have remote control here with wall mount. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So we got the remote control. Looks like dryer, rear, front, um, feminine wash, controls here, water temp, seat temp, light, and deodorizer built into the remote. The remote itself runs on... AAA batteries, which are not included, just so you're aware. But yeah, this um, uh, holder for the remote, you can screw it to the wall, or it does come with VHB, 3M VHB tape. So, okay, I think we're going to go into one of my restrooms that has, well, both my uh, mine have seats currently. So no matter what, I'll have, to, I'll have to take one of my other bidets down. But that is the Aquaspace. Uh, seat unboxing. Now we're going to start installation. Okay, so of course I'm in a bathroom, so we're probably going to have a little bit of equiness. So this is where I currently have one of my seats that resides, my BB2000 seat. Uh, I am going to get this taken off off camera. Um, but the one thing I do want to bring up before I get into that, I would recommend having a bucket handy to put underneath where the water connection is if you can get something in there. Um, also have a towel or something handy because you will have some water to, to wipe up afterward. It's not going to be a whole lot, but make sure you turn the water off all the way before you disconnect any of those, uh, those uh, connections. But I'm going to get this area cleaned up and then uh, get the seat off and then we're going to start the installation process. So give me a few moments and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I start, I wanted to take a peek at this template. Uh, base plate positioning area, which is going to look kind of like that. And I'm going to get that base plate out of its packaging. Uh, looks like it's going to face like so. Okay. So the nice thing about this is you can see exactly where this is going to be. So you can get it as close to where you need it as possible. That's nice. Okay. And then the fasteners for it. So here we go. So these two metal slide plates, they will just sit in this guy, in the channel. These rubber pieces will actually go down. I'm gonna actually put those in first. Might be able to do that with the bolt. There we go. Okay. Just put the bolt in the nut real quick. Just get it through the hole. Okay. Like so. I'm going to set this guy in there like that. Maybe I'll bring it in a little closer. So you can see where I'm placing this based on the template. And these are going to go down there like that. And like that. And need to get my screwdriver out. Now I would probably recommend against a powered screwdriver in this case because you're not going to want to go too tight. But then again, it's just that rubber piece that's um, coming up there. So my other one is like this. You're going to want to make sure you get it tight. Otherwise the seat will move. That's what I've found. Looks like they're about even, so that's the good news. Okay, I think I'm good enough for now to pull that off. So we have the bracket in place. Now I want to get the watering system figured out. Um, in this case, we have the valve we got to add right here. I'm going to add this to the tank to offshoot the inline which I have the inline already detached from the tank. So essentially this is now, there's rubber seal, rubber gasket that goes in there. This is gonna go up against the tank. And then this is gonna be the original one that would go into the tank. And then this is for the seat. So we'll put that on once we get the seat on. So right now, all I gotta do is get this attached to the tank because right now I don't have anything on it. And I'm gonna have to hold on to it from the inside it looks like. And I did empty most of my water out. 
Okay, and then my water line. And I'll show you this in a second. Okay, let me bring you down here and show you. So there's where that guy went on. And then the original, that's the original hose that I had down here connecting to the toilet directly originally. Um, so that goes to that diverter, which just shares the water line with the seat itself. So now we're ready to put the seat on. Okay, so now we have the seat, um, power on one side, water on the opposite. Should slide into that. There we go, all the way back to the clicks, which puts it exactly where they told me it was going to. I'm not gonna plug that in yet. Now I have the water line that's gonna to go to that offshoot that we installed. I might have to get a crescent wrench or something back here. My pliers will work, but... Okay, uh, let me show you what it looks like, then we'll get the water on. So you can see back here, we're coming off that line over here, so we are ready to roll. Now, I'm gonna work on getting the water, make sure I don't have any leaks. Seems like every time I do this, I get one small leak somewhere. We're fully open. Plenty of water coming into the toilet itself, so I'm gonna quiet it down a little bit. I'm gonna give that a second and grab a light. Cell phone will work. Looks like I have one small leak. Oh, coming from the tank itself, actually. It must have loosened up a little bit. Let me get that quick. So when I was messing back there, it looks like the, the tank um, uh, was a little loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, it should be good. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna check it again here in a little bit just to make sure, but it looked like I got it after the quick one, quick fix. So cellophane, protective cellophane. All right, there we go. Now we're not worried about scratching the lid so much anymore. I am also, it looks like there's a piece of plastic right here on this sensor. And of course you have the sensor sticker itself. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on there for now. That's fine. Um, also, the remote control, I'm gonna get the batteries in it. There's a little button, pull open the door. That way we have this ready to go. All right, and it looks like that lit up. Now I'm gonna get this plugged in. And beep. All right, it goes going through its paces, just drop down, going back up. It's gonna shoot me in the face next. Okay, it's time to use it. Okay, I'm behind the curtain. I'm sitting on the seat. Uh, so the seat is warm right now. So it must have the heater turned on. Seat temp. Okay, it looks like there's actually five. So on this remote, there are five little lights. I don't know whether or not that's focusing on that or not, but there are five LEDs. If I hit the seat temperature button, one, two, three, four, five, and then zero. So six settings off and then five actually on. I'm gonna set it at level two. Water temperature. I'm gonna set that at level three. Light, there's a light, must be a, a light inside so you can turn it on or off. And then deodorizer, which essentially, so it was on, I could hear it. That's off. That's on. Small little fan that's running, constantly churning the air. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Now up at the top, we have dryer and dryer temp, rear and move, and front and move. So we're gonna start by rear wash, which would be for the men or ladies, both. And it looks like it's at level three. So that would be probably moving it forward or backward. I'm gonna try that. Oh, it right on the money for shot. So I'm gonna move it, click the button, maybe push and hold, or maybe I push on it and I go, oh, okay. So I push on rear, move, and I can push forward or backwards depending on where I wanna move it to. Right down the center was good for me. The plus and minus,
is definitely pressure. It's not instantaneous, it ramps it up slowly. So I'm going to put it back on uh, level 3, right down the center as well. And uh, I'm going to hit the button in the middle to stop. And it stops almost immediately. Uh, I'm going to try the front, or the feminine wash. And uh, level 3, or I guess 3, right down the center of where it's supposed to go. I think I did hit it right. So it's definitely further forward. And that's probably more close, I, I'm assuming, I, I'm guessing here, I don't know. This would be something that you'd have to try out as, as a woman. So I'm gonna stop that, but it does work. It is in a different spot. Uh, now we're gonna try the dryer. And dryer's at level three. Um, dryer temperature. Let's see if I hit that dryer and I can hit plus or minus so let's go with hot it's not a crazy dry so um, it reminds me of the seat that I actually removed from here the BB2000 for its drying capability it's just a constant air blowing over um, not hot even at its hottest setting it's it's not hot it's not unpleasant it's, it's actually where I would typically set it I'm not usually one to have hot air blowing on me down there but um, it would dry you faster it is it's warm is probably the best way to say it um, it doesn't really have any more the um, oomph I guess so it's just temperature is all you can adjust. You can't adjust how fast the air is coming out. It doesn't look like, which isn't a big deal. It's just something to note. And then stop. And just takes a second and then she stops. It works. It works exactly like you expect it to work. The seat heater definitely works. Uh, I'm going to actually bring the seat temperature down or off right now because it's not cold out. But when it gets cold out, that's going to be really nice. And then deodorizer. Just that little fan going to make it smell less, I guess. And there we go. Let's take a peek at the light. Let me get off. So that's, that's, uh, that's the light on. If I hit the light button turns it off. So that's actually going to be really nice. Uh, I like those at night. You know, at night they're really handy. Uh, let's see if it actually turns the light off when the seat goes down. You can see the stains in the toilet uh, since it sits here sometimes. It looks like it's glowing around the toilet so the, the light doesn't go off. I wonder if it goes off over time. That's something to, I guess, pay attention to. Okay, so that was the install and setup of the Aquaspace um, bidet seat. I really like this. This is actually a pretty solid seat. I would put it on par with my BB2000 for everything that I've expect, uh, experienced so far. It's not my full review. I will have that on my Tech Gooch channel uh, a little ways down the road, probably about a month or so. Uh, I am going on vacation, so I can't get that one done. And I have to have time on the seat to really know. Um, so... Once I have more time on this, then I will have a full review. Um, but out of the box, I, I like it. It's a pretty solid product. So thank you for watching here on GeekSmart for the uh, full installation. Have any questions or comments, post those below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll catch you back here on GeekSmart for another future video install. See you soon.